Good morning, everybody. We are here at the line right now for going to our cruise for glacier cruise today. I'm hoping we can see any wild uh, animals like whales and maybe sea lion and dolphins. So we are just waiting uh, for us to board in a cruise right now. So I uh, will see you guys later. Bye bye. Guys, we are boarding now. We are just about ready to leave. That's an effort back in the 1980s actually in the lower shafts where the 
unsuccessful, apparently. The plane opened up some fairly large fissures in the tunnels there and keeps it full of water. Yeah. But uh, survey work in the claim above sea level suggests that there's still a asthma rate. According to the wreck folks out there, there's something else that this is the whole thing out there. That's a sea otter, guys, wandering around the water. Again, 500 or more is pretty common. And all the tops of the mountains can easily see over a thousand inches throughout the year. And since not all of it will melt off during the summer months and get snowed on year after year, it eventually compresses that snow down into glacial ice. And because of it, we have a lot of glaciers around as well. And the Chugach Range is the most heavily glaciated area in northern Alaska. We'll definitely get up close and personal with some glacier ice. Once we get out around Columbia later. Lots of nice waterfalls here. Of course, we're kind of stair stepping his way down through the hillside here. I'm just going to keep about, the, 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 about eight to ten knots here. We're going to cruise the shoreline. see a few of the folks out enjoying the day here in the port, uh, doing a little sea kayaking. Kayaking is a pretty popular sport around here during the summer months. So a lot of people take advantage of the calm waters that we typically have here. Well, we did kind of pull away from the shoreline here for a little bit to uh, continue our way back uh, out through the Valdez Narrows here and keep uh, working our way southbound out towards the arm.
this area, you guys see a lot of heavy weather again. Off of Alaska, the line off to our left there. It does tend to throw some pretty good waves up in this area during the winter, especially. And uh, well, they do stack up here pretty good. Uh, just off to our left, about a half mile out there. It's about 1,200 feet deep. Uh, we're only about 75 feet of water at the moment. So it does tend to stack the waves up pretty good. Keep this hillside up rather well and keeps the vegetation back and away from the shoreline. But it's a lot of little sea camps out here to attract a lot of different uh, birds to nest out here during the summer months. And keeps the food stirred up pretty well. You see a lot of fishing boats out here trolling around for the summer salmon as well. But it does also attract a lot of other marine mammals out there. And one of the big ones are stellar sea lions. And we'll see a lot of stellar sea lions just ahead of us. And there a few in the water that we passed by already uh, back behind us. But uh, sitting up on the beach here, there'll be a couple. Stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Get sun when it's cold. 
cold And don't they miss the leaves they left behind Could it be to make the ground shine like cold Until winter comes Until winter comes Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Where we are It really makes me wonder